People thought I was nuts when I would say, this is going to be huge. You're going to have an email address. There could be like 100 million people on, the internet, on this internet here, 100 million. And even that sounded so outlandish. I hardly believed it, but I never would have thought that it would be billions and you know, headed towards you know, the vast majority of the world's population where it's eventually going to get. My name is Stephen Levy. I work at Medium. And specifically, I'm the editor-in-chief of a publication on Medium called Back Channel. I'm the author of a bunch of books and I write about technology. I want stuff that people can engage with. I want stuff that, particularly, that people don't see everywhere else. One thing that's happening in journalism today is that it is kind of a commodity. The business model of a lot of places is to have a lot of content and try to write something about everything whether your reporter had, you know, uh, did reporting or not. You know, sometimes the reporting is just reading someone else's story and writing a few paragraphs about it. But I think there's a room for places and people hunger for places to have the story that you can't find anywhere else. So from the very first day of Back Channel, I brought in some what we call UGC, user generated content. Part of what I wanted to do here, because it is a platform, is sort of experiment on how permeable that membrane is between a professional journalist and a writer who just has something really good to say. So I started actually a separate little mini publication on Medium uh, called the Apple Watch Project. And the idea was to invite some of these people who were writing interesting things about the Apple Watch and their impressions to move their pieces onto this collection with the idea that eventually we would take some of the more interesting passages and weave them together into one sort of uber review. There's 25 different voices in there and it's gotten a tremendous response. I think that there's always going to be an appetite for great original work and it's going to show up in forms that we can't anticipate now. Every new form, people bring over the old forms to it there. And, you know, it takes a certain amount of time for people to find like the native way to express yourselves in a given form. And I think we're just beginning to find that in journalism.